Okay. This is KFI, WBA Super Flyweight World Champion, and you're watching True School Sports. I didn't believe it, but I do honestly believe when I look at them type of fight sports, mm -hmm. like the, like you say, like variety room, and I, I feel like how can I be at that level? You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. how can I be so yeah. Technically, I'm a good fighter. Mm -hmm. Punch power, yeah. especially punch power. Yeah. I know that I've got especially. that, especially yeah. at, at that weight. <laughs> and and uh, you know, uh, maybe the experience at that level. Uh, yeah. That's the only thing that I think that's yeah. lacking. Yeah, that's lacking, but. Other than that, like mentally now, I feel I'm a different fighter. Like, me, like I'm mentally strong. I feel like maybe that was slacking a bit early on in my career, but you know, like now I feel, I feel like fresh. I feel I'm ready to go. Like you said, I've had a lot of injuries and I've overcome them. Mm -hmm. And you know, they've been my arms as well. My biceps where I've, literally at one time I thought I won't box again, mm -hmm. but I'm here now. I'm, you know, and I'm ready to crack on and be fighting them geezers. You know what I mean? Be fighting them. Romans, uh, Navarrete's, uh, whoever there is at that way. I think hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is gonna, I'm gonna shoot a run of videos because it, it, it seems like everybody that I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat close with or that I know who I talk to on a regular basis is, 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 is announcing a fight right now. So this will be the first one. Uh, it was reported, I saw it on Instagram, but it's been reported all over social media and all over the internet that um, Gamalia Fi, not Cal, but Gamalia Fi, his brother, you know, the 122 pound prospect, that he had, he, he's got a fight coming up and it is a massive one for his career. Um, it was reported that Gamalia Fai will be fighting March 27th in Italy against an opponent by the name of Luca Rigoldi. Uh, he's an Italian fighter. He's uh, coming into this fight at 21, 1 and 2 with 8 KOs. And they're fighting for the European uh, Super Bantamweight title. So this is, this is a big step for Gamalia Fai's career because if we can go back and look at Gamalia Fai's career for a second, this was a guy that, you know, much like his brother, you know they were trying out. They, they were building up towards, you know, world title contention, and you know his first true like one of his first true style fights. He fought Gav Gavin McDonald for the WBC uh, international belt, and um, he lost that fight. And I talked to him about that fight when I saw him in Birmingham when I, when I was in the UK in December, and he said that you know that fight. He said he thought he was he was looking for the big shot too much, and he feels like he's really uh, refined his boxing skills, skills since that fight. Um, and since that fight, he scored three straight stoppage victories. And before that fight, he had, what, one, two, three, three straight, three straight stoppage victories. So, you know, in his last seven fights, six stoppage victories, but the one fight that, you know, people would say would matter, uh, he wasn't able to get the win. So it's another, I guess, step up for him. He's fighting a guy in Rigoli who, if we look at it, his career, you know, he's fought, you know, he, nothing but domestic level Italian fighters and he's been victorious or most of them so it's a fight for, for Gamal where I'm looking for him to get the strap to, to, to show the world that hey, he has gotten better he's been sparring he's been getting some good sparring in the gym he spars his brother Cal who's you know fighting the great Roman Chalatito Gonzalez um, in February a little later on this month and he, and he spars also Raza Hamza who's a fantastic uh, Bantamweight prospect in his own right so 
you know, he's got good talent over there to, to spar with in the gym in Birmingham. But now it's about, you know, showing his level against, you know, a, an Italian fighter who I'm sure, you know, this guy, Rigoli, he's only 27 years old. Um, this will be a big fight for his career. So, And it's in Italy, so you, you know he's going to be up for it. You know he's going to want to uh, go out there to show and prove. Um, but listen, I can say firsthand, like m most times when I'm talking about boxers, I can talk, I'm talking from secondhand experience because I, I, I wasn't in the room with him or I didn't feel any punching power. But with Gamal, it's different, okay? I held the body shield. This, 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 this freaking, this guy, this damn guy, he was, you know, he was, he was, he was let me have it. And he's, he's got solid punching power. And, you know, judging by his last seven fights where he stopped six of, of, of his opponents, you can see that. But, you know, it's not about getting the stoppage victories all the time. It's also about, you know, do you have other tools in your toolbox when you step, when you step up to those levels? Do you, can you stop somebody of a higher level of opposition out, you know? We'll see as his career progresses, but this is a big fight for him. You know, right now as it stands, he's not currently ranked. Um, in any of the top 15 sanctioning bodies, in, um, you know, at 122, he's, he's not there as of yet. But you know, I think a win here would uh, might get him to crack the top 15 or move up, get, getting close into that top 15 and pushing off a world title. Because, because look, if we look at the rankings right now, Luca Rigoldi, he's Luca Rigoldi's ranked. Rigoldi is ranked. Rigoldi is. Number 15 in the IBF, so you would figure if Gamal goes in there and he folds this man up like a blue steel chair, like Chris Jericho and The Rock used to back on uh, Friday Night SmackDown back in the day. If he does that, then maybe he gets ranked in the IBF rankings and then he can go and fight, uh, not Daniel Ramon, but the guy that just beat him this past week. I can't remember his name, but I was, I was, I was at the fight. Um, and it looks like that's the route he's going to try to go. He's going to try to go the IBF route and uh, just move his way up the rankings there. But I'm looking forward to seeing Gamal in this fight. Because I, 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 I saw the work he put into the gym. I felt the work he put into the gym. And not even just that. He's a, he's a really nice guy. And, um, you know, I think for, for him, just, just analyzing his career and being objective about it for a second, I, I think the Gavin McDonald fight was a case of, you know, maybe um, the wrong philosophy, the wrong game plan. But he's finding a guy now who I, you know, just going off. Of, I never seen him really fight, so I'm not going to see him. I know much about him. But I would be led to believe that, that he's... Um, a, a somewhat of a mover because he's not a puncher. He's not. He's not known for his punch for his punching prowess. He don't got a lot, of, a lot of knockouts. So we'll see what happens for, for Gamal. I'll be definitely keeping track of it. Um, he's someone that's made it no secret. You know, when I interviewed him, he stated he wants to fight the top dogs at 122. So we're, we're talking about the world champions. We're, we're talking about you know the Daniel Ramans and you know the, the Ray Vargases and the Navarates. Obviously, he's a long way away from that. And there's still some good guys, bef some good fighters before he even gets to those guys. That um, you had to get through, like you know, your TJ Duhennys, your Angelo Leos, your you know Julio Cejas, Isaac Dogbays, I and mean, you got Tremaine Williams. That's there. There's a lot of talent in this weight class, and some of it maybe gets overlooked sometimes. But this is a good step in the right direction for him, and I'll be I'll, I'll be watching him. I'll be rooting for him, and you know, shout out to Max McCracken. Um, you know, obviously Calia Fai was the first champion from Birmingham in the UK. Um, you know. Who's to say that Gamal can't be there in a couple fights? You know, he's, he, he wins this fight, they step him up again the next fight, and then, you know, we're probably two or three fights away from a, from a title shot. So I'm just saying, if you guys don't got anything going on on the month of, uh, what was this fight? This fight, what, March 27th? So March 27th, if you got, if you got nothing going on, glue, glue your eyes to the TV screen, tune in for Gamal Yafai's fight for the European title. He's fighting Lucas Rigoli from Italy. This will be on, you can access this on the internet. This will be on Matchroom. This is a Matchroom Italy show, so you can find it on DAZN if you're in America. If you're in the UK, I'm assuming maybe Sky Sports, but in the, if you're an American and you want to see what all the fuss is about, it'll be on DAZN. So yeah, Gamal Yafai back in action for the European Super, uh, Super Bantamweight title against Luca Rigoli, who's currently ranked number 15 by the IBF. It's a big step in his career. And hey, listen, shout out to the Cal the Yafai family. You, know, you got Cal Yafai fighting for the, uh, defending his world title, an absolutely massive legacy career defining fighting against Roman Gonzalez. You got Gamal Yafai fighting for the European title, and you got the youngest brother, uh, Galal Yafai. I believe he's qualifying for the, or he's, he's fighting uh, for the Olympics. He's qualifying for the Olympics soon. So the Yafais, man, a very underrated family in in, 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 in British boxing. I think it's time they stop being underrated and, 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 and the British public get behind them. So yeah, shout out to the Yafai's. Shout out to Gamal Yafai. Um, 
assuming that there's no other cards out there, I don't think there is. And even even if there are, I think the times will be different. I will be live on YouTube for this fight, so you probably will get a live fight reaction for this fight, even though it's not necessarily a massive fight, but it's a massive fight for me because, you know, even though I met him once, I would still consider Gamal your fight a friend of the channel. So best of luck to Gamal. We'll be keeping our eyes on that fight and just monitoring his career. But uh, hopefully he can he can win he can win what figures to be a step up fight because if you look at his last Three fights since the Gavin McDonald loss in March 2018. He fought a Jose Aguilar, who was 16 and 50. He fought Brian Malrena, who was 10 1 and 1, and he fought Lee Clay in his last fight, who was 10 3 and 0. I actually, I actually watched that fight recently um, on YouTube. So, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. Hit that bell notification too. We need, we need more bell notifications hit. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just giving dang it. So until next time, take your eyes. Dale, le mando un saludo a todos los fans, bendiciones, cuídense.